In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can add exclusive skies with planetary atmospheres and eye-catching color combinations and unique ones in Unreal Engine 5. And if you want your projects to look more professional and attractive, I highly recommend you to use this tip in your projects. So let's begin from zero. So I have no light sources in the first place. So I'm going to go to the Windows tab and let's just click on the Environment Light Mixer. And I'm going to select all the options that we got here to add them to my project, like Skylight, both of the sky atmospheres, height fog, exponential height fog, and volumetric clouds. And by doing this, let's just close this window. And as you can see, we have lit up our scene. But before starting the next step, I want to rename these two directional lights that I've added to my project. And I'm going to do that from outliner section. And let's just rename them as sun number one and sun number two. All right, now let's just adjust the intensity of these two directional lights in a way so that we can control these overexposured lighting of the scene. But I think it didn't really work so let's just check the sky atmosphere everything seems fine and let's just check the skylight yeah just check this real-time capture option and let's just select the exponential height fog well actually we have nothing to do here and the next thing that i'm gonna do is to enabling the light shaft occlusion of the directional lights that i've added to my scene yeah, it's right here. And this is for the second one. All right, right now we have two directional lights in our scene. And these two directional lights act similarly in our project. Therefore, in order to tell the Unreal Engine to deal with these two directional lights separately, I'm going to adjust a parameter called Atmosphere Sunlight Index. So in this regard, while the second directional light has selected, let's just type the word index in the search tab of the details section. And here is the parameter. And I'm going to set it on one for the second directional light. And let's just select the first directional light. And as you can see, the related parameter has set on zero. All right, now that we've done with that, let's just select all these lighting actors and move them to a folder called lighting yeah now i have organized all the actors that i got in this scene okay i think the exposure of the scene should be reduced from post process volume so let's just do that from the exposure tab of the post process to see the results better yeah it looks much better now and let's just increase it a little bit but don't forget to set your exposure mode on manual as I did. All right, now let's just go back to the viewport and by holding Control and pressing L button, I'm gonna move the mouse cursor. And as you can see, I can move my first sun in a way to see it better. And I'm gonna do the same command about the second directional light by holding Control and Shift and L buttons and moving the mouse cursor. So let's just move it to the other side of the viewport. And if you were not able to move the sun in the sky with the hotkeys that I've introduced to you, you can change the position of either directional lights in the sky from here, the rotation tab of the details section. And just like that. So let's just continue. All right, now I'm going to enable the temperature option of either directional light. So let's just do that for the first sun. And let's just increase it to 12,000. And this will lead the first sun to burn in a much more hot way. And vice versa, I'm going to do the same thing on the second directional light. So as you can see, I have decreased the temperature of the second directional light. All right, now to get better results, I'm going to play with these two parameters of the volumetric cloud actor, the altitude and the height, the layer height. So let's just set this factor on 40 maybe yeah sounds good and let's just increase the altitude and yeah i think this looks pretty good so let's just continue 
From this moment and later on, it's just about changing the position of the sons in the sky. So as you can see, I'm changing the position of the second sun to get more sunset feelings. And let's just change the position of the first sun. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And let's just exaggerate this effect on the sky so what i'm gonna do is to increase the temperature of the first sun to twenty thousand, and let's just decrease the second sun's temperature to maybe 1000 and as you can see we have more purple color combination in our sky and this is really cool and it conveys some planetary atmosphere to your audience and to your project as well. And I highly recommend you to add two directional lights to your sky if you want to add some artistic effects and some planetary atmosphere to your project. And this is just amazing. As you can see, I can even achieve to some orange color combinations and I hope it would be useful to you. And if you have any question and opinion, just leave it to the comment section and don't miss the other Unreal Engine 5 videos on the channel. See you there.